So here's Flory coming through, uh, I think it's the second single lock. We've just left Shrobnall and um, we popped into Asda to pick up a duvet. Of all the things to forget, we forgot the duvet. So last night we stoked up the fire, kept nice and toasty with the solid fuel stove and a duvet cover. But it was fine. So this single lock is broken at the far end, or it's the walkway that's broken at the far end. So I'll probably be going over the back deck of the boat to get to the other side when necessary. So as you can see, the little boardwalk to get from one side of the, um, the lock to the other is broken. So it's not easy to get across. I did actually cross, but I held on. This is the overflow from the canal. I'm sure it's got a name and I will find out what it is. So the lock is filling up with water and equalising so we can open the lock gate and then we'll be able to bring Flory through. So Chris, what's the name of that little waterway at the side? What is it? It's an overflow, isn't it? It's an overflow weir, there you go. We got it from the expert. <laughs> He's an expert on canals and coffee. On chocolate. Right, let's move on forward because it looks like we're getting to that point we can open the gate. There's not a child in sight to help us. Oh my goodness me. It is rather lovely here though. Nice countryside, very peaceful. And we're through. Actually, on closer inspection, we saw that the ground paddle over on the starboard side wasn't working, wasn't actually doing anything. So we've closed that one down. We've allowed the one on the port side to do its job. And uh, I'll just drop the paddles, or Chris is going to drop the paddles. Yeah. There we go. 